Hi, this is Ralph. Uh, in this video, I want to go over using some motions in order to create a pedal system for an animated bicycle. This is something we were messing around with class a little bit earlier, and uh, uh, and Chris helped uh, show us a, a technique that kind of shaved off a few steps and made it a little bit faster and easier. So I've got a blank uh, file here in Flash. I'm going to go ahead and click on Insert New Symbol, and I'm going to go ahead and call this... Uh, Pedal system left. All right, that'll be my new movie clip symbol. Pedal system left, and I'm gonna have a couple layers. Let's see. I will go ahead and create a pedal layer, and I'm gonna have a uh, crank arm. Okay, so a pedal and a crank, and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the uh, the crank arm first. So to do that, I'm simply gonna use a line tool, and we'll get something that's kind of thick so it stands out. And I'm just going to draw, I'll try to get it from my center point here. Draw straight down. That's my crank arm. I'm going to use my free transform tool. Actually, I take that back before I do that. I will use the free transform tool. I'm going to go and take my crank arm. I'm going to create a motion tween out of it. So one second. Got my free transform tool. And I'm going to take the axis point and I'm going to click and drag it up so it's at the very end. And when I'm anywhere on this motion tween that now exists, I'll simply head over to rotation, change it to one time, and I'm going to do counterclockwise. So now I have this counterclockwise rotating crank arm. And that'll be the crank arm for the pedal system. Next order of business is the pedal itself. I'm going to go ahead and lock my layer down for my crank arm, and I'm going to focus on frame one of my pedal. And for my pedal, I'm also going to use a line tool. This one I'll change it to a different color though so it stands out, but dark red. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the pedal, the lower portion here of my crank arm. There you go, good enough. I'd actually like the pedal to be on top of the crank arm though, so I'll just move it up. So now pedal's on top of that crank arm. And the idea is I want that pedal to rotate also. Now for that rotation, I'm going to create a uh, a circle path and this is the technique that uh, Chris showed me a little bit earlier today. It's pretty slick. Um, instead of drawing my circle path on the same layer here, I'm going to create a new layer which is just going to be temporary and I'm going to go and call this circle path just so I can visualize everything. And on my circle path layer, I'm going to create a oval tool and for the color I'll choose a, a bright green with no fill just so it kind of stands out and I'll make it kind of thin there. And I want to draw a circle. Okay, and I'll use my shift key to ensure that it's a nice circle shape. Use my selection tool. And I'm going to kind of eyeball it here first. Looks pretty good. But basically I want to see that it's moving around very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and use my alignment tool to center. Oh, I need to select it first. Try this again, and center. There we go, so that's pretty good. So that's my circle path. I'm going to use my eraser tool, and I'm going to erase lines, and I'm going to use a small little point here, it's pretty small I guess, and actually I'll erase it right down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can catch this, I might have to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to erase a portion of that line. So it's kind of a broken line now. I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to select this line. Let me zoom out again so we can see everything. The line is selected and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go back to my pedal. Right click, create a motion tween. Go to frame one there. I'm going to put the tip of my arrow right on the axis point of that pedal. I'm going to right click and paste. And that inserts that path there. Now when I press enter, oh, looks like we're going the wrong way. Well, there's a couple ways I can fix this. I can certainly change the rotation of the crank arm, or we can also flip this path. To flip the path, I'll, I'll right click, and then I will reverse keyframes. It's a little bit it's off my screen down here, but it's at the bottom of my menu, my menu, reverse keyframes. Not a big noticeable change with my timeline, 
but now we've got our pedal system looking much smoother. And I would take this movie clip symbol and then I could incorporate it into another movie clip symbol that has a bike frame and other components.